Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today we are cutting a whole bunch of rocks. All kinds of things, geodes, wood, whatever. Let's see what we got. We'll start off with a flat dugway geode. Okay. Yeah, see they're not bad sometimes, these flat things. Pretty cool. Here we have some uh, pink agate from Nevada. Looks cool on the outside. And, oh, look at that. Wow, pretty cool. Here we have some kind of an agate jasper that we actually got over at Nephi at the Petrified Wood area. Whoa, look at that. So there's more to be found over there than just the uh, petrified palm wood and other wood. Here we have some wood that fractured into several pieces. And it is very dark, but it does have some texture to it. Interesting. This is another little piece of agate that we found in the Nephi area. That was just very interesting. Those little yellow whatever's going on in there. Interesting. Here's some more bird's eye. Gastropod shell, the other side broke. Interesting, that shell looks like it crushed a little bit. Huh. Here we have some agate from the Last Chance Road area, where there's agate all over the place. Oh, nice. It's got some good red and yellow in it. Sorry for shaking the camera. Yeah. Nice red and yellow. Here I had a nice piece of uh, snowflake obsidian. Decided to cut it open. Oh, look at that. That looks really nice, doesn't it? Snowflake obsidian is sure pretty. Here's some more Vernon Wonderstone. Decided to cut it twice because it ended up being really pretty. Here we go. Look at that. Very nice. Now we'll flip to the next. <laughs> so cool. Beautiful stuff. Here's another one of those flat dugway geodes. Oh, okay. Nice patterns in this. That's pretty good. Here's another piece of petrified wood. Didn't look like much on the outside. And the inside's nice texture, but not very good color. Cool though. Here's another nodule from Cisco and Yellow Cat. Whoa, it's very brecheated. A little bit of red agate in there. Cool. Another little flat geode from Dugway. The other side broke, so all we got was this side. Interesting. Here we have a geode that actually comes from the reservoir near Enterprise, Utah. Oh, look at that. Got some banding there, some white opal in the middle. Pretty neat. Here we have some uh, jasper. Got some nice patterns in it. Oh. Well, that looks better inside than I thought. It's like a picture stone. Yeah, it's like a jasper picture stone. Very nice. Yeah, I like this one. I don't remember where this came from. Here we have a nice little agate that fractured. Oh, look at those banding, that banding in there. It's getting dark out here. Hopefully it's not too dark. But yeah, look at that banding in there. And what's cool is where it fractured. Look at that black in there. It's very interesting. Here we have uh, some bird's eye marble that fractured, but here's some nice pieces of it. This is kind of more than just the uh, regular bird's eye. Here we have some agate from the Drum Mountains. It looked really good on the outside, so I'm very hopeful. Oh yes, yes, that looks good. Let me hold it like this. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful stuff. That is so nice. Yeah, I need to get more stuff like this. Here's a larger agate we found somewhere in Southern Utah. Just cut the edge off and not too bad. It's got some nice patterns there. Here's some more Wonderstone from Vernon. Ooh, pretty. Not as good as some of the other ones, but still neat in its own way. And for the final one here, this is some of that 
barite that gets replaced by agate down uh, by Cisco and Yellow Cat. And, oh, look at that. Look at the red agate in this one. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, I need to go out there and get bigger ones. More like this. Really nice stuff. Wow. That's it for today's episode. Whole bunch of good looking stuff. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you on the next one. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.